kind of explain that five minutes and 20 seconds in the second period what happened? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to explain right now, but we just stopped playing off. And uh, we, were in, we, we had a game right there. We, we were there where we wanted to be, and then something like that happened. Not acceptable. I think we just stopped playing, and uh, just one and the other went in. And, uh, yeah, definitely sucks, but uh, no time for feeling sorry about ourselves. Uh, Got to regroup fast, and we got to go to the rally again and help play, our, play a really important game there. Nico, is it hard to explain how you have so many one-sided wins and lopsided losses in the same playoffs? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's hard to explain. Uh, I don't really know what to say, but I feel like for tonight it was just, yeah, we let our ha uh, hat hangs and uh, it's definitely not the recipe. We, we had a game going on there and, uh, yeah, it was like we just had five minutes and uh, we just got away from our game right there and uh, they made us pay. How do you expect this team to respond? Well, we got to play better and uh, we know now it's uh, no more losses allowed so uh, we got to play our best game every game but we take game by game and now like I said the most important game of the year is coming up for us. You said you guys kind of felt like you stopped playing out there. What were the conversations on the bench that you weren't able to respond after giving up those five goals? <laughs> Obviously uh, we're trying to get going again, but uh, yeah, I mean, easy, sometimes it's easier said to be done, but still not acceptable. I mean, like I said, we had a game going on there and get scored on, and uh, bench got quiet, and uh, they made us pay really fast. So uh, got to learn from that. It can't happen ever again. I don't know. I, I got to watch it over again. Um, I mean, I'm sure they adjusted to what we we adjusted and. Uh, I don't know. It's uh, we're gonna have to figure that out tomorrow and, and improve that. Or um, I thought last game we did much better, and um, obviously it showed in the score. And then um, today, obviously not not too good. So you've won three in a row as a team, seven different times this year. You're gonna have to call upon that again. What's your belief in the squad? Yeah, we we don't quit. We got a lot of belief. So. Um, one game at a time, and uh, we just focus on the next game and uh, win one game at a time, and that's it. So um, we know what position we're in now. Obviously, it's it sucks right now, and um, we got to have our best game uh, next game. Were they forechecking effectively, or did, were you guys maybe feeding into that a little bit? Maybe yeah, like I said, I don't know. It's hard to explain right now. I, um, I think got to watch it over. So. Um, we made an adjustment uh, last game and did much better. And then I don't know what happened today. So um, I don't know if it was us or them. Or uh, we're gonna have to figure that out. You now you hold yourself to high standard. How do you feel like you're, you're playing in the series? Yeah, obviously want to do better. So um, that's pretty much it. Obviously, I would imagine a tough one there for you, uh, just coming in, especially in that second period. Yeah, I mean, tough game. Is there almost nothing to, to really say? Uh, probably not right now. What happened in that in that second period going on in front of you, VTech? Was there anything in particular that they were doing differently that, you know, blocking your angles or something that was going on with what they were doing? Uh, so, uh, luck was for them, you know, like they had bounces and then... Uh, they scored. They scored goals. We we didn't score, and then yeah. Nico says they had to be better at cleaning up the trash in front of you. They feel like perhaps they let you guys down. Has there been any conversation to you, or what has been the, the talk in the room here? Uh, I mean, uh, we played great the first period. You know, it's. Uh, I don't know what happened in second period. Like I said, I had lucky bounce, uh, bounce there, and then uh, they score, uh, they score goals. Uh, we didn't, and uh, I have to be better too, right? For sure. How quickly do you have to put this one behind you? Uh, right now. What were they doing so effectively that forced you guys into 28 turnovers versus, you know, they're only two? Well, they they were a lot 
quicker on the puck tonight than last game, and we weren't as quick moving it, um, getting open for each other, moving our feet. So uh, it's kind of a combination of they they were doing a better job than they did last game, and we did a worse job than we did last game. So that's not a real good combination for success for us, especially the way we played um, in game game three at home. So uh, game four at home was not a good one. Now we got to go uh, win a game in Carolina, game five. We were just talking to Vitek, and obviously he's incredibly disappointed, kind of hanging his head. What can you sort of say to him, and, and what maybe needs to be done in front of him to give him a little more help in that instance? Yeah, we just, yeah, we got to help him for sure. Um, point blank opportunities where we gave up some from the slot tonight. We, we can't expect our goalies to make saves from, you know, really dead center of the ice, looking straight at him, low to highs. He's coming out and trying to challenge. So, our goaltending has been great all year. Um, we, we can't you know, get down on our goaltending at all, and we're going to be the first guys in the room to pick them up, uh, especially the, de- the defense for sure. And um, we, we got all the confidence in the world, no matter who's in our net, between uh, between all of our guys back there. So um, nothing nothing wrong with our goaltenders at all. We're, we're confident going into game five who we got in the net. Damon Nico said that it seemed like you guys just stopped playing out there. Why do you think there was no response from your group? Good question. Uh, you know, we, like I said, we got the wind taken out of our sails real, real bad there in the second period, and uh, it was unfortunate. We're second round of the playoffs. We're, you know, now we're facing elimination. So um, there, there wasn't any pushback from us, and that was unfortunate. And it, it's, it's not fun, obviously, losing that way. And then we, we didn't, you know, give our fans in the cheer both tonight too. So uh, that's, that's on us and as players and as the team. And now we got to, you know, we got a challenge ahead of us to climb them back into this thing. David, you guys have had a short memory throughout this playoff run. How do you do that again? We don't really have much of a choice, so um, we're going to hop on the plane tomorrow and head to Carolina and and do anything we can to to win a hockey game there because we know it's not going to be easy. And um, we got such a good team here. We've had such a great season that uh, it, we just we don't want it to end. And, and now we we got our backs against the wall, and there's only one way one way out of it, and we got to climb out of it ourselves. And there's no one else going to do it for us. David, obviously Luke is still getting his feet wet here in playoff hockey. What's your message to him in the first goal there? Maybe just a tough line change. Uh, I have to see it again. Um, I don't know exactly, but um, the way he skates and the way he can move the puck is, is very impressive, and he's here for a reason. Um, I'm just trying to help him along with anything he needs. He's got questions, I say. You know, don't second guess yourself. Make your plays. You're you're a great hockey player. So um, mistakes are going to happen. Unfortunately, uh, we got burnt tonight a few times on him. But um, he's he's too good of a player to dwell on his mistakes or anything that happens out there. He, he'll he'll keep going and get better. What some of the conversations between the second and third period. Uh, we were just disappointed in ourselves, and we, we wanted to you know have some pushback in the third, and unfortunately, it just wasn't there for us tonight. And for whatever reason, um, disappointing honestly uh, to to lose a game like that and now again we're, we're against the wall so uh, we talked about little things that we, we want to do but uh, now it's really trying to find some momentum going into Carolina in a tough building for game five so it's it's 